You're watching the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 disassembly. First, before we begin, we need to remove the SIM tray. Next, you're going to want to heat the back plate up using a hair dryer or a heat gun so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's your back plate. You have one of the secondary mics over here. And as you can see, it's plastic. Once the back plate is removed, there are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. All right, once all your screws are removed, we're gonna lift up this metal plate over here. And then we're gonna disconnect the battery cable. Just pop it up. Once that's disconnected, we can disconnect the wireless charging cable. And then we're gonna peel the wireless charging pad off. Here's a better look at your wireless charging pad. As you can see, the coil is located in this area. Next, let's remove the top plastic cover, which has some antenna lines running through it. Here's a better look at that piece, and your earpiece speaker is underneath it. So basically, the sound from the earpiece speaker travels through the opening over here in the midframe. Here's a better look at that opening. Now let's lift up and remove the bottom speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. You also have some antenna lines running through it over here. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have this one cable over here which connects your main board to your sub board. So you have this cable over here which connects your charger port to your main board as well as the subboard over here on the bottom corner. There are also three Phillips screws on the bottom over here, two on your charger port and one on the subboard that needs to be removed. Now that that's removed, we can remove the subboard and then we can lift up and remove the charger port. So here's a better look at the charger port and the flex cable. And here's your subboard, which has your main microphone on it. It also has some antenna contacts on there. Here's the back side. And then your S Pen cable. You have one more cable over here. Pop that off. And then you have your front facing camera cable right here. Here's a better look at that. Now we're gonna lift up and remove the main board. So here's your main board. As you can see, you have a couple layers to it. And here's the back side. You have your SIM reader over here. You have your cameras connected right here. You have graphite film over here on the back. If you want to disconnect your cameras, you just have to pop off the connectors. You can remove them. You also have your proximity sensor located over here. Now back to the front side, you have a secondary mic over here on top. You also have your flash over here and your sensor on the back. Now onto your screen cable. There are two Phillips screws over here, which you need to remove. That's holding down a bracket, which covers this flex cable over here, which connects your main board to the screen cable underneath. Once those screws are removed, you can lift up this metal bracket. And you can see over here, Screen cables connected to this cable, so you can separate them. Now your S Pen is located over here underneath this white plastic. We're gonna pry that off. So you can see your S Pen over here. And then we're gonna remove it. 
So this flex cable over here is for the sensor for the S Pen. So when you slide it in and out, it knows it's in there or not. Here's your S Pen. Now as far as the battery goes, there are no easy pull tabs. So you're just going to have to heat the front of the phone up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the battery. And then you're going to have to gently work your way and pry the battery off. Now removing this battery isn't that simple since there isn't much room to work with. So you're going to have to gently keep applying heat and pry the battery off carefully. Now you can also use 99% IPA or isopropyl alcohol. And you could drip some around the edges over here. So it could get underneath the battery and separate the battery from the frame. However, if you are planning on using 99% isopropyl alcohol, make sure you have gloves on and eye protection. Here's a better look at your battery. So now you're left with just the mid frame. You have a flex cable over here for your power button and volume keys. Your vibrator mode over here on the bottom corner. Your cable over here for the screen which is still attached to the frame. There's a water resistant rubber gasket over here with a filter for where the speaker is. And if you need to remove your power button or volume keys or replace that, there's a metal bracket over here, the same as there was over here for the screen cable. You just lift it up and then you'll have access to removing that. Now as far as the screen goes, once you disconnect the screen cable, all you have to do is heat up the front of the phone and pry the screen off. It's just held on with adhesive. And then you can just basically apply your new screen, reconnect everything and reassemble your phone. Now moving on to the fingerprint reader. I'll peel this off. It's located here underneath the screen and it doesn't look like it's user replaceable. So it's gonna be something that's attached to the screen itself. So replacing that will pretty much require replacing your screen. Now as far as the cooling goes, instead of copper, it looks like there's a 3D graphite layer. You can see over here. I'm not 100% sure if it's graphite, but that's what I'm assuming it is. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive, place your back plate back over. Flip your phone over, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.